Well, isn't that a great question? What is risk assessment? That is a $100 million question here in the United States. So there are jurisdictions around Pennsylvania that have started utilizing court-ordered risk assessments to determine what somebody's sentence should be. Pennsylvania is looking at it. They have not quite uh, gotten around to utilizing it or ordering it or requiring it for serious offenses. But we are one vote away from that happening. And the Pennsylvania Criminal Defense Lawyer Association is fighting vehemently to stop it. And you might sit there going, why? Why wouldn't you want a risk assessment in cases in determining sentencing? Well, because sentencing is a multifactored or multifaceted um, process. And it's an important process. It's not a throwaway process when somebody's getting sentenced. It's important to create a human being when you, when you go to sentencing. What do I mean by that? Like I tell people, to the prosecutor and even to the judge to some extent, you're just a number. You're transcript number one, two, three of 2019. As a defense attorney, you're a human being. I've learned about you. I know about your family. I know what your dreams are. I know what your goals are. I know what you've done to try and help yourself. And so it's my job to advocate that. And what happens with these risk assessments is this risk assessor comes in who's paid by the Commonwealth or paid by the, the court, spends maybe an hour or two hours with you, and their conclusions are going to have a major impact on what sentence you receive. That's not what you want. You want, you want experts that you hire. You want people that are part of your team to present to the judge. If the Commonwealth wants to present something to the judge as well, great. But to force a person to undergo a risk assessment can be very dangerous and a slippery slope because what happens is it kind of takes the onerous off the judge. And I think that's why judges like it because they can sit there and go back and be like, well, the risk assessment says they're a high risk. So we should send them to a high sentence. Well, th well, that's not fair. You're sending them to what they were convicted of, you know, what they did. We're not a pre-crime country. What a risk assessment is basically saying is, we think you're really likely to commit crimes, so we're going to send you to a higher sentence. That's ridiculous and, to me, unconstitutional in every way that imaginable.